गुड आफ्टरनून स्टूडेंट्स द टॉपिक ऑफ टूडेज लेक्चर इज एक्सीडेंट्स वी विल स्टडी द इंट्रोडक्टरी पार्ट ऑफ एक्सीडेंट्स वी विल स्टडी वेरियस कॉजेज एंड हाउ वी कैन प्रिवेंट दोज एक्सीडेंट्स इन एन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सो स्टार्टिंग विद द डेफिनेशन पार्ट एन एक्सीडेंट इज एन अनप्लान एंड अनकंट्रोल्ड इवेंट विच कॉजेज और इज लाइकली टू कॉज एन इंजरी so it is always an unplanned or uncontrolled event which is not under our control and it may or may not cause an injury now what is an industrial accident according to factories act 1948 it is defined as an occurrence in industrial establishment causing bad injury to a person which makes him unfit to res- resume his duties in next 48 hours for instance in an organization a person or a laborer while working receiving an electric current a labor cut his finger from machine blast in chemical industry because of various reasons fired in textile section etc so these can all be industrial accidents these are all the examples of accidents occurring in a company now we will study some types of accidents we have some categories first category is according to length of recovery under this first type is first aid accidents here these workers receive first aid at plant hospital and then return to the job second type is lost time accidents here worker loses a day or shift in which accidents occur compensation is given to the employee by employer for the severity of accident third type in this category is home case accidents worker loses remainder of shifts or turn on which the accidents has occurred second category is according to the nature of injury so under this category first type is fatal accidents it includes accidents that could result in the death of the injured worker temporary disablement accident that reduces the earning capacity of an employee third is permanent disablement an accident that reduces completely earning capacity of an employee third type is third category according to the causes of event first type is machine accidents contact by impact by trapping by ejection of particles so through machines either through contact accidents can occur through the impact accident can occur or due to trap or ejection of particles and non machine accidents include tripping over obstacles on ground slipping due to oil and grease running inside the shop leaning from ladder to reach the object now we will study some nature effects of accidents the nature of accidents may vary from industry to industry an employee may fall from height while engaging in particular job or may be caught on machine while working and injure employee these results in disablement or death so disablement can be permanent or temporary disability pain suffering to equipment buildings etc of life output time profit etc following injury death pain so these come under the category of disablement and it can be permanent or temporary now we will study some causes of accidents accidents do not have any single cause these are the result of combination of factors which may vary from situation to situation it is possible to classify accident causes under the headings first is plant equipment environment people and systems of work so first is plant example a faulty layout electrical and chemical hazards so in plant overall layout can be faulty proper distancing is not being done and electrical 
and chemical processes are being more exposed and due to those things accidents may occur second is equipment whenever machineries or equipments are there installed there a proper guarding should be provided so that no employee comes in contact with any moving part of that equipment third is environment it can be high noise insufficient light and ventilation so these things if the voice is so high if a machine is coming from behind or if a person is not looking at a machine he or she would not be able to listen to the voice of another machine if insufficient light is there there are chances that any part of his body can get trapped or get collapsed with any part of the machine that can lead to injuries that can lead to accidents then fourth point is people now people also play an important role sometimes carelessness untrainedness of people lead to accidents and sometimes people are stressed they are not focused upon their work that can lead to accidents next point is systems of work poor procedure bad housekeeping can also be the reasons of accidents at workplace causes of accidents further have unsafe condition unsafe act so in unsafe conditions we will have improperly guarded equipment inadequate warning systems poor ventilation system fire and explosive hazards improper plant layout congestion of workplace then hazardous atmospheric conditions poor housekeeping excessive noise and radiation exposure unsafe acts can include operating equipment at improper speed operating equipment without authority using equipment improperly engaging with gambling use of alcohol by employee improper loading and placement of equipment improper lifting and taking improper position using defective equipment throwing material on the floor which leads to obstacle so students as you can see there are some unsafe conditions which are on company's part and there are some unsafe acts which are on employee's part basically because sometimes people are not serious about their job and such acts lead to accidents or there are some situations in which people are not authorized they no do not have those experience and skill to work upon some machine so that can also lead to accident so crux is accidents do not have one reason there is a combination of reasons due to which an accident occurs types of accident cost first is direct cost whenever accident occurs it is always a costly affair so direct cost includes medical expenses cost involved in damage of equipment cost involved based on raw material compensation paid to injured person now these were the direct costs which company has to bear and these costs are visible and these costs are mandatory to be incurred now on the other side indirect costs loss of time of injured person lost time of other employees while handling that person cost due to loss of profit on the injured worker then cost of time spent by first aid attendant and hospital staff then loss of time of foreman supervisor and other executives because these people also have to get involved when a person has an accident with him and these people have to be there with him during that phase now we will study some aspects of accident prevention accident prevention may be defined as an integrated program a series of coordinated activities directed to the control unsafe personnel performance and unsafe mechanical conditions 
it depends on three E's. First is engineering, job to be engineered for safety. Then comes education, employees should be educated in safe procedures. And last is enforcement, safety rules should be properly enforced. Students, accidents should be prevented. It is for the benefit of both employees and employers. And some integrated system has to be formulated in which all the parties, all the think tank, all the procedures, rules, regulations have to get involved so as to prevent industrial accidents. And first of all, the job has to be properly mechanized, proper framework has to be done. And then education to employees, training to employees, imparting skills to the employees have to be done. And last is enforcement of rules and regulations has to be done. Now there are various steps in accident prevention. First is monitoring. Supervisors should monitor the employees regularly under strict observation, under strict supervision so that there are lesser chances of any kind of accident in an organization. Second is collection of data. Data about their work, data about their work style, their skills, their timing, the amount of resources they are using. Then anything related to the job of a person, that data should be collected. And then that data should be analyzed because when we analyze that data we come to know about the seriousness of a person and if a person is serious towards his job then the chances of accidents are minimized fourth is select remedy how to correct those things how to rectify those things Fifth is apply the remedy. Now, those things, those remedies should be implemented. Now, students, another topic is industrial hazards. And hazard is any practice, behavior, or condition, or combination of these that can cause injury or illness to people or damage to property. Hazards plus exposure that leads to accidents. Hazards are various kinds of practices, various kinds of conditions or behavior that can lead to injuries. So we have to be very much careful about these hazards. It affects people, property, processes, and it is harmful for any organization. Classification of industrial hazards. First is dealing with safety, material handling hazards, machine hazards, energy hazards, work practice hazard, confined space hazard, and then dealing with health, physical hazard, chemical hazard, biological hazard, work design hazard, stress and psychological hazard. How can we identify these hazards? How can we identify such behavior, such systems that can lead to accidents? First is pass accident analysis. Keeping a record of accident helps in identifying hazards based upon past experiences. Second is safety survey. Third is safety audit. Fourth is fault tree analysis. It is a directive analysis approach for resolving an undesired event into its causes. And last is job hazard analysis. It is a technique that focuses on job tasks as a way to identify hazard before they occur because hazards are really serious matters and they have to be identified before any kind of accidents take place. Now, how we can we control these hazards? First is elimination by removing any such behavior, act, practice from the workplace that can lead to accidents. Second is substitution. We can substitute the plant or hazardous aspects of plant with safer options. Third is isolation. That means separating hazardous work practices from people involved in work. And fourth is engineering control. 
if the hazard cannot be eliminated substituted or isolated then engineering control is next preferred method fourth is administration control fifth is personal protective equipment it should be considered only when other control measures are not practicable so students in this lecture we have studied various aspects of accidents including the definition part then types of accidents then how accidents can occur how they can be avoided what are the various remedies then we studied hazards what kind of hazards are there how they can be avoided how what are the various techniques with which they can be avoided so industrial accidents is an important topic nowadays and any company who is growth oriented always tries its best to avoid any kind of accidents at workplace and always takes care of the safety of his or her employees so this was all with the topic for today if you have any doubt you are most welcome to ask me thank you very much